All right, we're recording. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on our team Zoom. My name is Rachel Ngom, and Megan Yelaney is going to be hosting tonight. Um, and we're going to be talking about getting your coaches started right. So I'm going to share my screen. All right, can everyone see my screen? Yeah, thumbs up. Cool, OK. So we're going to get started with recognition. Congrats to our top producers. Kat McMaster had 600 PV views. And Marina Kudujeris and Patrick Paquette had 400 PV. Way to go, you guys. And everyone who has hit success club 10, this is from last month, I believe. Um, yes, in September. So congrats, Rachel Smith and Lisa Gianni for success club 10 in September. And Success Club Five, Kat McMaster, Angie Astry, Rebecca McFarland, Kim Miller, Kate Myers, and Marina Kunuchas. Way to go, you guys. And congrats to our team builders of the week, Amanda Fuller, Angie Astry, Lisa Sipiani, Sven Harding, and Tatiana Sheets. And we have a brand new emerald in the house. Congrats to Samantha Perkins. Way to go. And Megan. Uh, yeah, congrats to our top producers from last week, Carrie and me leading the way with 400, um, Haley, Allie, Heather, and Coco at 200, and then we have a bunch of 100s. Um, and we had some awesome, awesome rank advancements last week, so a couple. Nell is a new Emerald coach, which is awesome, and I want to look like that now, so I especially want to look like that at her age, which is amazing. Sorry, her picture's crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, and then Rachel is a brand new Emerald, first month in the business, hit success club her first month in the business as well. Congrats to Rachel, Rachel Herring, and then Andrea Sullivan as well, first month in the business, Emerald and success club. And then, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum, Jacob, Diamond, so, so excited. We've been working so close together, and I'm really proud of you. Um, so, yeah, this is this was a big one, and um, this is just the beginning for you. So, so excited. Um, and this is our banner right now, so I figured I would just read that off from last month. This is everyone who hit Success Club, uh, Success Club 10, 5, and a ton of rank advancements. Um, in our team last month, you guys really did amazingly. So um, let's keep it going for this month. Because yeah. September yeah. was supposed to be hard. Right. That's silly. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's silly. Um, so I have some announcements. Super Saturday is coming up. It's October 17th. And live events, Megan, how important are live events to your business? Very, very important. Like, y'all. They change, like. A lot of stuff. <laughs> it's like the lifeblood of your business. You need to go to as many live events as possible. Um, and Super Saturdays need to be non-negotiable. So talk to whoever you need. If you need childcare, get that figured out now. Um, and then you can look in your coach online office at the top under news and events. Um, you can actually see by location the closest one to you. I've, I've driven over three hours to get to a Super Saturday because I know how important these live events are to my business. But I've also hosted them too. So if you don't have one that's super close to you, host it. They give you everything. Um, like the video and the scripts and everything. So you just have to read it off and press play in the video. And it's super informal and a lot of fun. Um, okay, next thing, Hammer and Chisel. Who has tried the Beachbody On Demand previews of Hammer and Chisel? Anyone? Anyone? Aaron has. Megan has. Cool. Oh my God. They're posting pictures now of people's results and I'm just like mind blown. Um, so this is going to be a sweet program and I suggest mm -hmm. talking about it now. We have two months until it's released. Start talking about this program now. Start sharing results with people now. If you are collecting an email list or if you're just collecting people who are interested, start getting those names now. So when it's released, you can go crazy. This could be a huge, huge boost to your business. This could be like a sellout, like 21 day fix. I'm telling you it do the on-demand workouts, do videotapes of yourself doing the on-demand workout, do the moves, do everything to get a lot of hype up about hammer and chisel and start now. Um, okay. Next thing is level two training. Aaron Wilson and Angie Astry are hosting level two training for my team. So if you're on my team and you're not in that group, make sure you request to be added. Post on our team page, hey, I need to be in level two, and we'll get you in there. Um, and then my team is also doing a go for no challenge. I posted the event in our team page. So if you're in our team page, go to events and um, 
you'll see it. And if you get a hundred no's in the month, the first person to do it will get Amazon gift cards and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and don't be afraid of no's, y'all, because I get them all the time, every single day. It's no's that's really going to build your business. And so you need to just go out there, get rid of any fear or hesitation that you have and just talk to people. Um, cool. Okay. So we're talking about so I have, getting your coaches. I just have one. Sorry. Sorry. I have one announcement for my team. No, no, that's fine. I didn't give you the slide, so that's my fault. Um, but tomorrow, guys, um, for my team, we are, um, Allie and I are making a video and posting it about a rank in the bank group that we're going to start on the 19th. It'll be similar to the Diamond Dash group we did uh, a while back for some of you who are in that, but not nearly as much um, info, so not info overload. Um, but it will be where it's going to be like a pot to buy into, and then we're going to give out, you know, prizes to rank advancing people. Um, from the 19th of October to the 26th. So mark in your calendars. And if you are someone who is ready to rank advance and really take your business to the next level, this will be the group for you. So we'll announce that tomorrow. Um, and the um, new coach training, sorry, the new coach basics app for team um, uh, finish line leaders, which is the big team that we're under, should be coming out any day now, I think. Right, Rachel? I, I heard it was like right beginning of October. I don't know um, state but I'm super excited. Okay. So when that comes out, uh, we have our ongoing Coach Basics. I, I added a video today if you guys are in Coach Basics. Um, it's pinned to the top of the page. It's a self-paced basic, so you just go to the file section and you start from launch phase one, then phase two, then the, di then the um, Emerald level. And um, we'll be instilling something like um, the Emerald to Diamond training next month as well. So some exciting things coming up. Okay, keep going. I just want to let them know that. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about getting your coaches started off right. And in order to do this, you have to have people on your team. So I want to talk a little bit about recruiting um, because obviously you need to recruit so you have new coaches that you can help mentor and get them started right. Um, so you should be adding a minimum of three to five new coaches to your team every single month. If you're not adding that at the bare minimum, your team is going to grow so slowly and it won't grow at all because, I mean, you need retention rate and people drop off. Uh, you need to be adding fresh blood to your business. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard for you to grow. And so if that's your, your goal of how many coaches you're adding to your team every month, that means you need to present the business eight to ten times a week. And so we talked about that in previous Zooms, you know, just asking people in your challenge group, have you ever considered becoming a coach? I think you'd be really good at it because, or I think it would really benefit you because. So that's presenting the business, you know, and doing that eight to 10 times a week if you're serious about building a solid business. Um, and so after you um, add people to your team, we're going to show you the system that's super duper simple. So our team training site is the EliteXTraining.com. I'm going to show you where everything is that you need to know. And so you can just send your coaches here if you want. What they, I'll show you level one, level two. Here, I'm at the freedom document. So you definitely want to take a look at this. I opened it up in the freedom document. Please mute yourself. Who doesn't? Um, who's talking? Okay. We're good. That's better. Okay, so this is the freedom document. Um, and so right here, you can click on how to use this document with your new coaches. And so I would print this out. This is basically everything that you need to know to get your, your new coach started off right. And so right here, you can print and fill out the new coach tracker. So every time you sponsor a coach, you can print out one of these forms and fill it out so you know exactly who your coach is, what their coach ID is, it, you know, what their rank advancement goals are, where they are on their way to diamonds, how they're doing with success club points every single month. You know, this tracker is money. Um, you could keep it online if you want or if you're like pen and paper person, print that out. And then this is your new coach welcome email. And so as soon as your new coach signs up, you want to send them this email. Um, and so insert the name of your team there. If you don't have a team name, you can use our team name. Um, and this is just helping them figure out what their goals are with the business right away. And so helping them decide if they just want a discount on the products, if they want to build 
a little bit of income to help with groceries or if they want to live a life of financial freedom. And so here you're talking about their what you're going to add them to and their uh, websites. Um, that's pretty much it in the Nicholas Welcome email. We don't want to overwhelm them. And right from there, after you send that, you're going to set up the Getting Started Right call with them. And if you've never done a Getting Started Right call, I recommend doing it with your coach. So you don't have to do it all by yourself. It's great to use your upline so they have more experience in this as you. They could do it for you in the beginning and then do it with you and then after you see it being done a couple times, you can do it yourself. And so you'll set up a time to do the getting, GSR is getting started right. And so if you don't have a coach that's um, gonna be helping you with that, you can watch this video and it's an, an example of doing a getting started right call. Um, so watch that video and then this is the homework that you will send. Basically this is all on the team training site though. So this is level one. This is the homework. Start here, level one. So this is all you're sending them. It, it's all in this file. So if you have the freedom document, you can access everything or from our team training site. And so in that, after you do the getting started right call, you're sending them this and it's going over the basics of Success Club and Emerald. Those are their goals for the first um, month in the business, you know, hit success club, become an Emerald coach, learn how to use social media. So we have social media content guidelines, and then also host a five day free group. And so all the information that you need, it's all right here. And so if you send them this, they'll know exactly what to do. Super duper easy. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. And then so that's the getting started right and week one homework. After that, you want to get them um, on the phone after they do that homework. So let's say it takes them a week to do their clean eating group. Get on the phone with them again. And then you'll send them level two. So you'll follow up with your coach in one week. Send them level two training, which, again, is the exact same thing here, level two. And so if for some reason you don't have the freedom document or anything, you can just send your coach here to the site. They'll be able to go through everything. And so let's see, that's the freedom document. All right. And so after they go through level two homework, they will get plugged in to the level two training. So the level two training group that we have right now um, that Aaron and Angie's running, they will be plugged in that group after they've gone through all of those steps. So they've already done the getting started right call. They've already done a free five day clean eating group. At that point, they're ready for level two training after they go through. So right here, here's the template for the level two training group. So if you actually want to run those level two groups on your own, you can definitely do that. So take right here, you can do a level two group after level two, there's level three. So that's pushing the diamond and beyond. Let's see. That's the basics. Um, the biggest thing when you're getting your coaches started right is to always have a what's next for them. And so after you do getting started right, make sure you always are giving them an assignment. So right here, you're pretty much giving them assignment all the time. After the first week, after the second week, and then getting them plugged into, the, uh, into our team um, and also with your offline. So Megan... Yes. Why not? Um, so I'm going to share. Yeah, I'm going to share my screen. My team and mine and Allie's team are probably like, "What is that?" <laughs> um, so I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Just so you know, I've looked through all of that that Rachel sent me, and it's awesome. We pretty much have all of that, just in a different format. So you guys aren't missing anything. Don't worry. <laughs> um, uh, but one thing that I definitely want to start instilling. Um, is the, um, the level two training that they're doing, which is basically getting to Emerald. Um, however, I know a lot of our coaches, almost all of our Emeralds we've popped this last month have been pretty much just after our GSRs and our new coach posts. So guys keep following, um, this step. But again, we, we're both pretty much doing the same stuff. It's just in a little bit of a different format. So these are two things that I'm really quickly going to post in our group to make sure everyone has steps to follow right after signing a new coach of any kind. Make sure you guys go through this 
and pretty easy. What send the which kind of coach email are you? Just like Rachel's had. Um, so you're gonna click on that. If they say they're a number one, just discount. You're just gonna follow these steps. Treat them like a customer. But make sure you send them that welcome email and you send and you get your boomerang email started for the auto ship reminders um, right away. If they are a if they are a builder part time or builder coach, then you're going part time or full time coach. You're gonna follow these steps, um, which again just kind of if you just go through step by step um, exactly what to do. After that, you're gonna send them our new coach email, um, which. You don't have to edit too much. You can add a little bit, you know, obviously of your own flair to it, but it's uh, some of the same homeworks like the bio, their picture, um, some logistical things they need, direct deposit, the color code test, things like that. Um, and then after that, you're going to do the getting started right call. And after the getting started right call, we have a getting started right checklist. So I like just ra what Rachel just said. If you've never done a getting started right call or if you've only done a couple or if you're just not fully comfortable yet, make sure you have your upline do it with you. I really think that people should do it with their upline until they're even diamond, because most likely you're not all eight of your coaches that you're recruiting are going to be builders. You're not going to, I think you need to do a bunch until you're really comfortable. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. If you get it right away and you're like, I got it, I'm, I'm rocking, this is great, then that's, that's great. But never feel like, use your upline, that's what we are here for. Um, and so same thing that she said, you know, go through the getting started right steps. You'll see right here, um, again, just follow the prompts after they say, I'm ready. When you send them this second email series and pretty much that email series is saying, um, I'm here for you. And this is something Rachel and I wanted to touch on anyway. So I'll bring it up now is you're saying I'm here for you as a coach, as your mentor, um, as your business partner, and I'm going to provide you all the tools necessary that you need to succeed that others have succeeded with. Um, but we can't build the business for you. Um, we are here as support. We are here to, you know, be, um, uh, you know, to hold your hand, but not pull you. Um, you have to want to do this. This is your business and you have to really step up. And one thing I learned on our push to elite call last week was they said diamond is a decision. And for the new coaches, uh, who don't even know what diamond is yet. It's just the rank above Emerald. And it's a really awesome, awesome rank to get to. And a lot of people struggle getting there. And it really is a mental shift. I know I talked about that with one of my coaches today and um, she made that shift and she, she's already a diamond, but she really, she was, it was, it's hard to explain, but it's one of those things, as you guys know, it's what you put in is what you get out. And if you can get to Emerald, you can get to diamond follow these systems that really, really work. But this email that you send to these, your new coaches is saying, I'm here for you. I'm going to support you, but you have to do the work. I think that's a really important step so that they don't think you're going to do everything for them because they need to build the business. You know, that's their business. They need to build it first um, with your support. Uh, and so if you, again, you just follow the steps when they email you back from that video saying, I'm ready, I get it. Great. Send them the new coach email. Um, and for, you know, Heart Rate Heroes is right here, Team Discover Fit, only difference is one says Team Discover Fit, one says Heart Rate Heroes. Um, if you have your own team name, you can just replace that with your own team name. Um, schedule getting started right Zoom. Our new coach email is very, very simple. We don't have many steps there because I want to get people on a Zoom right away. Um, and one of the things, main things that we do in our getting started right call is we set up your new coach post so that you can kind of get your feet wet talking to people right away. But again, we have everything laid out, um, really go through step-by-step step with your new coaches and your upline so that they feel super comfortable for their posts. So they're not like, what do I say after someone likes or comments? What do I do? It's all there. Go through it, explain it to them. Um, and then like Rachel said, never leave a Zoom with your coaches unless you're scheduling the next Zoom. Um, so for example, I have a Zoom after this with Jacob and Casey, his new, brand new coach. We did a Zoom last week, her first one. We scheduled right away for our next one tonight. Um, because I think, like Rachel said, you have to have that next step. And so, you know, after you go through all these steps, you send them the getting started right follow-up email that has the homework. So again, same kind of content, just a little bit of a different format that we have. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Again, if you just kind of follow these steps, it's, it goes exactly um, exactly through this document. So if you have this document, you're golden. So I will post that in the group so everyone has that. And um, uh, Rachel's Level 2 training is basically our Coach Basics group right now. 
add your new coaches after they've done their first new coach post um, and they're getting started right call, they can join our basics group. They just have to do a getting started right call first. Um, and it's, again, it's self-paced. So just direct them to the phase one, post one, and they can start with that. Um, but I think when the app comes out, things might change a little bit. So I'm excited about that. Um, Rachel, is there anything else you wanted me to touch upon? Um, Looking. Oh, I know. Yeah, what else? Um, well, what we were saying with, um, and I think a lot, a lot of people know this, but for new coaches, um, you know, if, if, if you're giving people all these tools and they're not doing the trainings and they're not plugging into basics and they're not recruiting and they're not posting or following the calendar we have, you know, don't, there's not really much you can do. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. You can only do so much for someone. You can be there, you can be supporting them, but you can't create their why and their compelling reason. So I know that's, that's been a real struggle for me in the past. I know a lot of my coaches on here have felt the same way with people that they've had. And it's, you just, you always want stuff, something more for someone than they do. Take a step back, you know, realize it's their business. They can go at the speed they want, but just be there for them when they're ready to run. Um, and just don't get discouraged if not every coach goes through it. You know, not every coach is going to be a huge runner. And that's why Rachel said in the beginning, we have to constantly be recruiting three to five coaches a month, at least three, three new coaches a month. That's awesome. Like if you're hitting that, you're hitting success club, you're consistently building to your network and you never know which of those coaches will turn into builders. So that's why it's so, so important to do that. So yeah, I think that was the only thing I wanted to add. Yes. Um, yeah. So when you're doing this process with your team, you want to make sure that you're duplicating. So Megan touched on, you know, like if you sponsor a coach, getting that coach on a three-way Zoom, but going three levels deep. So let's say I sponsor Aaron, who sponsors Tatia or Tanaya, who sponsors another coach. Making sure that three levels deep for me, that they're all plugged into the same system is really, really beneficial. So it's really helping your organization duplicate. So think long-term, work with your team, work with the willing, because um, not everyone's going to want to build a huge business and have the same goals as you, and that's okay. Um, just support them for whatever they want to do. And that's pretty much it. Do you guys have any questions? No. Really? So quiet. <laughs> I'm posting our steps to follow after we sign a coach in our group right now, guys, just so you know. No questions, really. No one in there. All right. So it's pretty self explanatory. I mean, you have everything, it's all laid out there for you. Cool. Anything else? Um, I think keep working on your breadcrumbing posts. I know a couple people posted last week, but not nearly enough. Um, so make sure you write out what I recommend doing is write out the specific things that Beachbody's done for you and then create a post for each of those and send it to your upline to double check. But that's going to be a huge, huge part of getting these recruiting these people it's fine and dandy to say we have these goals but we have to reverse engineer what do we do to get that we have to we have to um breadcrumb we have to you know put that opportunity out we have to invite to our sneak peeks um super super important so um yeah carrie asked how often do you recommend to post breadcrumb uh i'd say a couple of times a week yeah i probably i'm trying to do like three a week at least um, and it's not a super like, thanks Beachbody every single time, you know, <laughs> um, it's not necessarily that obvious, but it's just lifestyle posts. Um, but at least once a week, it's a thanks Beachbody. <laughs> Rachel, what would you say? Yeah. Three to five times a week. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's, yeah. Like Megan said, it's not like in your face, look how much money I'm making. It's like, Oh, look at what I'm able to do now, um, that I wasn't able to do before. So three to five times a week, at least sharing what Beachbody's done for your life. And if you've never done any, start with two, you know, like yeah. just start, start with two. <laughs> and he's better than none. <laughs> yeah. 
Who's posting tonight? Anyone? Anyone want to raise their hand who's going to post tonight? Heather Krause should be raising her hand right now. Oh, Kim is. Way to go, Kim. <laughs> Calling her out. <laughs> I, have a question, I have a question about breadcrumbing. Um, can you, like, I used to be addicted to Red Bull. Yeah. Um, the sugary things. Can, can you like breadcrumb about? Because now I, you know, Shakeology's like made a huge impact on the change of that on the afternoons. Can you like? Would you recommend to like breadcrumb that like every other month about that? Just saying how that has changed my life. Yeah. Okay. Or like, or okay. I was just curious how. Would you do a video about it, or do you think more people are about videos, or? I always, I just test a whole bunch of crap and see what works. So sometimes I'll do videos, okay. sometimes I'll do posts, sometimes the post flops and I'll delete it and I'll try another one, sometimes I'll boost it, sometimes I won't, sometimes I'll, I mean, I do all kinds of crap just to see what mm -hmm. works. So videos are really okay. good on Facebook. The biggest thing with videos on Facebook is to not get the link from YouTube, is to upload it directly to Facebook. Um, okay. That'll get much higher engagement that way. But yeah, videos are great. Um, I think videos are awesome, especially so people can actually connect with you and they can see what you're about and everything. Um, yeah, girl, go for it. Okay. Right. Thank you. Videos are scary, but it's it, they're much more viewed and it's, I, I think it's great. Uh, I definitely would try some videos. Yep. I'm posting a silly video soon, guys. Everyone please go like it. <laughs> it's, it's really silly. I'm singing in it and I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> I have a video question for you guys. Um, I like, I feel like when I do a video, I don't know what to say in my post with the video. Okay. Like, do you say much or do you say, like, watch this? Like, I don't... I don't say watch you know I mean? this. I try and give them a little teaser so they'll be, like, intrigued to watch it. Okay, like a little snippet of what maybe what I'm going to talk about or something? Yeah, so they'll actually be inclined to click on it and you're going to say it. But I don't just say watch okay. it. Yeah. yeah. I know, I feel like I don't want to give too much. Yeah, I want them to watch it. A little bit. So, I mean, I did a blog post the other day, and I posted the first part of it on social media, and I said to read more, like, go read the blog post. So, okay. I actually click to more. learn more or watch. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Madison just did a bread coming post. Way to go, Madison. Yeah, we want to see those posts, y'all. So breadcrumb and then share it in our team page. So then we can actually like critique and be like, oh, you did this awesome. We go. Um, that's how we get better. I like how I tried. To oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, oh, my video is not on. I just can't even see that I'm trying to talk. No. Um, I tried something new today. I don't know if this would help anybody. I don't know how it's going to work, but. Because I add so many people on Facebook, and then I get followers on Instagram, so I'm trying to swap them, trying to get the Facebook people to go to my Instagram, and my Instagram people to go to my Facebook. So on um, my Instagram, I talked about a homemade dressing, and I said, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying not to cough. I told them that the recipe is on my Facebook, so if they want the recipe for this homemade dressing, go to my Facebook. And then I posted my workout on my Facebook. <coughs> Excuse me. I posted my workout video on my Facebook and told them, you know, if you want to see more of my workout videos, go to my Instagram. I'll be posting them every day. And so, I don't know, just an idea. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright. Any other questions, you guys? Okay.
Megan. Sorry, my things, my computer is horrible. <laughs> I need to get a new one. It keeps freezing. Motion. I'm like, what's going on? Uh, I'm good. I have nothing else. All right, cool. Well, I hope this was helpful, y'all. I am getting a minute. Good. <laughs> I know, I'm excited. Quarterly bonus. Quarterly bonus. That'll more than cover it. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Cool. All right. Well, I'll post up the recording. And other than that, have a great night, everybody. Thanks for getting on. Bye. Bye, guys.